Danville is in a great time right now where we're starting to see lots of different growth. For us here at the schools, that is coming in the form of students. Uh, we see the growth in the community in the forms of housing, which is really exciting for us as we start to plan and prepare for the future and as this growth comes in. As we look through the growth, we have seen that we expect to have anywhere from 800 to 1,200 new students over these next 10 years. When you look at that more simply, that's essentially about six to seven new students per grade level over the next 10 years, which as we develop our master campus plan helps this to be a lot more manageable as we move forward. When we speak of master campus planning, what we're talking about is looking into the future for our school district looking at a 5, 10, 20 plus year plan to repurpose and add on to our facilities so that we can improve safety and learning opportunities for our children, uh, not just tomorrow, but into the far distant future as far as we can reasonably see. The reason it's important to have a master campus plan is so we don't overlap any efforts. We want to make sure that we're efficient uh, with the development of our facilities. Uh, our maintenance plans, and also our campus as a whole. We have a limited space in which to grow over time. We want to make sure that we do that as efficiently and as effectively as possible. Our top two priorities in our master campus plan here in the next few years would be to renovate uh, Danville Community High School and to add some additional classroom space to accommodate future growth. We have a lot of uh, portable walls in our high school. It's important for us to have a much more structurally sound learning environment for our students and also to improve the front entrance and a secure entryway so that visitors and guests as they enter the building can be directed into areas where we need them to be and to make sure that our students are safe at all times as they travel throughout the building. And also to go back to North Elementary, which is recently renovated, and add on some additional classroom space and lunchroom space there for our children. As we think through all of the aspects of a master campus plan, uh, certainly we have to think about growth, we have to think about finance, we have to think about facilities, but most importantly, we want to keep first is to think about our children and the growth opportunities they have academically and having them in a safe and secure environment throughout their school career.